This is a very refreshing treat, and if all your friends are drinking alcohol, and you can't, or you don't want to, or you choose not to, this is like, I don't know, a little, little island getaway. Hello, I'm Sister. Um, I'm making the aloe cooler out of his life-changing book. Uh, Anthony's book. Um, it's a pretty simple, easy drink, and I was really surprised after I made it, so I've been making a lot of it. Um, and it's really good on a hot day. So it only has three ingredients oranges, aloe vera, and some coconut water. Alright, so the first ingredient is your orange and I've already juiced these two two oranges not those two but you know, these these two here and um, you can use a juicer if you have one we're just manually using it because we're off-grid right now um, and you just you know you turn it and then it pumps down into here so this is the juice of two oranges um, so I'm just gonna pour that in the pitcher Oranges are antiviral, and Anthony says if you um, have some orange juice, it's like a ray of sunshine on a gloomy day. So it helps boost your mood. Or the mood of whoever you make this for. Hopefully it's someone that isn't too moody. And if they are, make them this all the time. <laughs> and then you want to use some coconut water. Coconut water is good to restore the salts in your body. It's um, a good electrolyte, um, which helps with the neurotransmitters, and it's very hydrating. So like when I go and play hockey afterwards, I like to drink coconut water um, rather than Gatorade. And you also wanna make sure it's organic too, of course. Um, yeah, good overall, very refreshing. Like everything else in this drink. I just like to kind of eyeball it, say about a cup, alright, now the other ingredient which I had never used before or drank before um, is your aloe vera and this you just cut right from the plant, I don't know you've probably seen an aloe vera plant it grows in like the heat areas, um, places that it's hot and if the camera guy can come a little bit closer and see how to cut it. So we're using about half of an aloe vera. So you just want to go ahead and cut it in half. And then I cut off the bottom. So then you just want to slice, slice down the side. So you open up the seam. See how I just took that little piece off? But you can see here, you can see the gel. So we're just opening it up a little bit. I actually had to watch some YouTube videos before I tried this. And um, you're going to do that on the other side too. Um, one of the YouTube videos that I watched did this and then they took a potato peeler and sliced it so that you got a lot of a lot more juice but I don't really care about that I'm just you know trying to get it in my mouth as fast as I can huh? edit that out please <laughs> <laughs> okay so and then you want to take the side that's the flat side so one side is round the other side's flat and you're just going to take your knife and press up against the flesh and then go all the way down with it so, okay, at this point, you can take a spoon. Okay, and then you're going to take your aloe, and we have a little portable um, blender here. So you're going to take your gel and just scrape it in there. So we're going to put the top on. that this works. Get in there. Man, 
make sure that everything gets chopped up. You know, actually it's pretty good having the little gels too when you're drinking it. Like I didn't mix it up as well as I thought I did one time. And it had the gel. It was like almost like a tapioca pearl. It was kind of nice. Hmm. But I don't think I would drink this on its own because it's kind of, I don't know, a little too earthly. earthy. Do you have any other mixtures you mix aloe with? I do it in my heavy detox smoothie, which Anthony may or may not agree with. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably okay. <laughs> and Ashley. I agree. Something about A names. <laughs> okay, I think this should be good now. Every time I drink it, it tastes really good. Right now I can't stop drinking it. <laughs>